Imagine if you had a tool that would listen to what you have to say and then recommend the next interesting idea to think of. Infranodus can do just that. It visualizes your thoughts as you're typing them in, as a network, revealing the most interesting parts and the relations between them, and also helping you make new connections you haven't thought of before. It is a great tool for brainstorming, overcoming the writer's block, doing research and thinking in a completely new way. Try it out on infranodus.com or keep watching to learn how it works. So first of all, when you're adding a new idea, you start from a blank page. You can just go with the flow and write whatever comes to your head. For instance, network thinking tools. You will have this idea visualized as a graph and Infranodus will provide a recommendation here, proposing you the next idea that you could think of. In this case, it says add some more data, preferably different to network tool thinking to get some interesting insights. So what else? We can say, I'm interested in the tools for brainstorming, creative thinking, writing research, overcoming the writer's block. I add it into the graph, it's visualized, and Infranodus proposes to think of the connection between these two clusters that showed up. Creative thinking and brainstorming, and writing, research, overcome. For example, I can say that sometimes it can be difficult to start writing, and we need some tools to help us do that. And then Infranodus proposes us to inspect the graph, Check the Essence tab in the Analytics panel to see what the text is about, to see all the topics that appear, and then to look at the structural gap and to think of the connection between these two topics. In this case, it's writing, difficult, begin, so how it's difficult to begin writing, and overcoming the writer's block. So what could be a connection between these two thoughts that we just added in the graph? Okay, so we can say that, for instance, it could be useful to have an overview of my ideas, making it less difficult to start writing, and that could also help me for research. Now Infranotus is proposing us to think of the connection between creative tools and uh, overcoming the writer's block and doing research. For instance, we can say that adding a network graph visualization could be very helpful for both creative thinking and research. Add this into the graph. And the next proposition is to select the most influential nodes on the graph, so for instance, writing, thinking, and difficult and to remove them to see what's hiding behind them. And here, Infranodus is telling us that the graph is diversified, so we can focus on bridging the gaps between being interested in creative tools and visualizations and graphs. So what about creative tools and graph visualizations? Network graphs can help people think in terms of connections, helping them link their thoughts and have a better understanding of a discourse. Add this into the graph. Now, Infranodus is suggesting us to return the deleted nodes back into the graph so we can see what comes up. Here, it proposes us to think, how can something that helps linking ideas together help in creative thinking and writing? We can add that creative thinking and writing often means making new links between the ideas and coming up with the new interesting connections. Add this into the graph. And here, Infranodus is proposing us to try to think of a question that would link these two clusters that it can be difficult to have an overview of ideas and network graphs. So we can add that network graphs also provide an overview of the connections between our ideas, making it easier for us to have a reference and a context during our thinking process. Here Infranodo suggests us to delete the most influential nodes again, writing, making, thinking, to see what's hiding behind them. In general, it's a very good method to find the most relevant stuff. Here it proposes us to think of the connection between actually having an overview of ideas and connections and linking thoughts together. If we click on this topic, we will see the context where it appeared. So in this case, it's about network graphs helping people think in terms of connections and also overview of connections. So the idea here that can be generated from this gap is that networks can help us think both locally and globally, zooming in and zooming out. Add this into the graph, return the deleted nodes as Infranodo suggests, and now we see a nice graph visualization of everything that we talked about before. We talked about writing and making connections here. And then we also talked about network graphs. And thinking is the main term, which is linking both of those clusters together. As you can see, it's easy to use. And it shows you what you're thinking about in the shape of a network graph. And showing you the interesting connections and clusters that come up in your discourse, which you can always use for reference and for coming up with the new ideas. Try it out on infranodos.com with your own writing and ideas. Thank you.